Hello nurses, this is Kevin with NursingCamp.com and these are my scribble notes on nursing and the NCLEX. Today's focus is on NCLEX questions and the process behind them. You can find me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Nursing Camp. Okay nurses, the first tip, the here and now focus. Always focus on the problem, not the potential problem in the future. So when we're looking at NCLEX questions, what we really are looking at is, what is the problem? And that problem is now. So whenever treating a problem in the future, it's always the here and now focus. Because prevention and priority is about now. For example, a patient has shortness of breath from a PE is priority and the treatment should be focused on now. However, a patient who is post-op and needs to use an incentive spirometer, they use it for the future problems like atelectasis and pneumonia. So let's get into it. First question. A client is being treated with procranamide for cardiac dysrhythmia. Following an intravenous administration of the medication, the client complains of dizziness. What intervention should take first? So here's the key word, first. First. First means priority. I need to do something now. The here and now focus. And let's focus on that. Okay, the first thing is administer prescribed nitroglycerin. That is called an implementation because we're doing something. Okay. Uh, nursing process states we assess always before we implement, before we do something. All right, next one. Measure the heart rate on the rhythm strip. That is an assessment. Next one. Obtain a 12-lead ECG immediately. That's also an assessment, but it's an implementation. You're going to do something. Next, auscultate apical pulse and obtain blood pressure. Another assessment. Okay, so the rules of nursing process is we always assess before we implement. Okay, so let's look at the patient. So we're giving a medication, an antidysrhythmic, and for dysrhythmia, well, which one are we talking about? We don't know. It could be a fib. The VTAC, but the patient is complaining. So the patient is somewhat alert and complaining. So telling me. Okay. So the patient is telling me and complaining of dizziness. All right. So what's the dizziness from? And I don't know. So since I don't know what the dizziness, dizziness is from, I need to assess. I'm not going to just give nitro because I don't implement because I don't know what's going on. So I'm not going to do this one either. So now I'm down to two responses. Either assess heart rate and rhythm, or auscultate apical pulse and obtain a blood pressure. Okay, as I'm attaining this, vitals are first. So I'm going to assess the vital signs. And vital signs are important because if I find out that they're dizzy because of decreased blood pressure, well, that would be acute, and then I could do an intervention. Also, if I find out they're dizzy, because of their bradycardic, that is also acute. And that leads me to my next answer. So that's it for priority questions on this question. Next question. A client is being treated for congestive heart failure. Okay, well, first question is, is what side? Is it right-sided or left-sided? I don't know. So it's a generic question about CHF. All right, with IV Bumex. Okay, well, Bumex is acute because Lasix is a diuretic, but Bumex is four times Lasix. So that's definitely acute. So Lasix is going to get rid of fluid. Bumex is really going to get rid of fluid. So it's going to be risky because if the patient is filled, 
And now all of a sudden there's no fluid on board. They're going to dry out and they're going to get decreased blood pressure. All right, so let's move on. The vital signs are followed. Well, thank you for that. Blood pressure. Well, oh, the blood pressure is already low. So blood pressure is 100 on 60. Well, 160 is uh, low. It's not really low, but it is pretty low. So let's figure out the uh, mean arterial pressure. Okay, so mean arterial pressure is from another lecture, and that's the DDS. Okay, DDS, diastolic times two plus systolic divided by three. So 60 to times two is 120 plus systolic, 100. So we have 220 divided by three. That's 70. Okay, so 72 or something. So that's okay. All right, so let's talk about this. Well, the heart rate's 96. Uh-oh, that's the boat coming, right? So greater than 90 on a heart rate means that the boat is coming. And what I mean by that is that's a problem, a potential problem in the future. It says that, hey, wait a second. Is there blood pressure high because of this? because it actually might be lower than this. Okay, so let's keep on going. Respirations are 24. Well, thank you for that. That's 16 to 20. All right, so here we go. After the initial dose, okay, well, what's the dose? Well, I don't know. It could be high. It could be anything. And what's the risk? Well, decreased fluid and decreased blood pressure. Okay. Which of the following is a priority assessment? Okay, so first thing is assess weight loss, assess output, Assess oh, blood pressure or assess potassium level. Okay, so when we're looking at this for priority assessment, we have to think to ourselves, well, what's the most acute finding of this action? All right, so weight loss. Well, a lot of factors affect weight loss, so it's not really that acute. You don't say, hey, that's the way the patient stat. Well, weight loss is only a problem usually on a phone call coming back from a uh, Ooh, lost my question. Um, weight loss is a problem when it's it's talking about uh, from a phone call from at home or something like the weight gain for CHF. But it's not that question, so we get rid of that. A lot of factors affect urine output. Okay, well, Bumex is going to affect urine output, so we're going to do it. But is it the urine output that causes the problem? Okay, that's a good question. So we're going to keep that one. Monitor blood pressure. Well, we've already had an indicator. Vital signs are generally first. And, um, yeah, that's acute. Patient has a problem with low blood pressure because of the Bumex. That's going to be priority. So we're going to keep that one as well. Monitor potassium level. Like urine output, that's a potential problem. It doesn't mean it's an actual problem. It's also low potassium. It's saying I'm going to look at the problem later on in the future, but not the problem right now. It's, not, it's a potential problem. So when we're looking at this, we're going to look at the actual problem about the patient. And the biggest problem is going to be perfusion because their heart rate is problematic because of 96. And their blood pressure is 160 on 80. Well, that's already a problem. So if we start to give them Bumex and really lower the blood pressure, then they're going to be acute. So the credited answer is monitor blood pressure. Well, my name is Camp, and this is Nurse and Camp, and this is my first set of uh, questions for NCLEX Camp, and we're covering priority questions, and we're seeing that the vital signs are very important, specifically if you're given a medication. If you're giving a medication that is going to affect vital signs, most likely that's the priority action to assess your patient and to assess vital signs. Well, that's it. You, my name is Nurse and Camp. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. Um, and on Etsy or on nursingcamp.com, and we'll see you next time.